Today, Scrum is the most popular agile framework used across organizations globally. IT software development projects have become a bit of a taboo when ensuring timely delivery matched with giving the user the product they want. The introduction of Scrum aids frequent software delivery in an environment that allows for constant feedback between end user and project team. Julian Cambridge, how are you? Good evening. I'm very well, Graham. And yourself? Excellent. Where are you? Where are we speaking to you? I'm in Hertfordshire at the minute. I am based in Hertfordshire, so uh, warm greetings on this cold January evening from, uh, from a county just north of London. Funnily enough, that's where I am. Fantastic. Okay, so whereabouts in Hertfordshire? Let's see how close you are to me. <laughs> I am just north of the M25, so in and around the Hartford area. Around Hartford, yeah. I'm in Hitchin. That's correct. North Hearts. Oh. I'm in North Hearts. So okay, you're in fantastic. South Hearts. Yes. That's so you're correct. probably not that. Oh, yeah. I know what Hartford is. Do you know what? I think I only. I moved to, Hart, uh, to Hertfordshire. It would have been. Do you know what? It's probably getting on for 10 years ago now. Probably oh, wow. is. Probably is. Anyway. Um, because I got a job to host the breakfast show at what was Jack FM and then changed its name to, to Bob FM. That's why okay. I moved here. And they're based in Nebworth, old Nebworth. And so I needed somewhere to live nearby. And we looked at places all around. I think that was the last time I went to Hartford because we were just looking for somewhere to rent at the time. And uh, we found yeah. a nice place in Hitchin. But we love Hitchin so much that we've we've bought a place now. So... Uh, we're here very for the nice long town, run. Hitchin. Oh, it's great. Yeah, it is great. Yeah. It's a very yeah. photogenic town. It's like yeah. um it's like St Albans light. Um it's like St Albans but without the really ridiculous prices. So <laughs> why are you in Hartford then? Um well, I went to the University of Hertfordshire. That's where I did my studies uh, as a youngster. Mm -hmm. Um I was born and raised in North London. So yeah, we're about sort of uh, Finsbury Park, so not far from Arsenal. Yeah, of course. Well, Finsbury Park, I know it as the the, the gateway to London for me because I got on the train at Hitchin. Finsbury Park is yeah. the first station. If I want to get a train to Liverpool, I go to Finsbury Park, then get the tube to Euston, and then straight north to Liverpool. Yeah, um, yeah. Which is you know where I'm originally from, the northwest from that area. So Finsbury Park, I know that. But I've been to the Arsenal, and and I went. Uh, by getting the train to Finsbury Park and then walking to the ground. Are you an Arsenal fan? I'm actually a Liverpool fan. I Good for you, up. because I'm a <laughs> Liverpool fan. Yeah. We've definitely got something in common, because I grew up um, sort of the late 80s when Liverpool... Oh, what a side. John Barnes. The, absolutely. Yeah. So that was my team from then. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great team, wasn't it? Late 80s. Yeah. yeah so yeah, it so happens... Teams that when you live in sort of London, if you live in East London, you end up buying in Essex. If you live in West London, you end up buying in Middlesex. So I'm <laughs> no different. I'm North London, end up buying in Hertfordshire. So. Right. Okay. Right. So do you get to many games? Even I can't get to games these days. It's so hard to get um, tickets. To be fair, I'm a football fan first, so I can watch football anywhere. I've been yeah. to sort of White Hart Lane. I've been to the Emirates. Admittedly, I've never gone up as far to Anfield as yet. So one day, you've it not does been have to, to happen, Anfield. Oh, I've you gotta caught, go. I've caught Liverpool a few times um, when they've come down, but uh, never done the journey going up. Yeah. Okay. Well, you need to check that out, and you should check out my uh, video cast, I suppose you'd call it, that I do from time to time, called Red All Over YouTube, which right. is because I, I get on really well with John Pierman, who is the well, he's been a friend for over 20 years. He's the editor of the only surviving Liverpool fanzine read all over the land. So okay. me and John host a thing with um, called Read All Over YouTube. And our last episode was last week. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we had uh, our special guests were George Sefton, who is the ground announcer at Anfield. Okay. And, and David John Jags, who is in the Ragamuffins band. And we hosted a live event up there at Hotel Anfield a couple of months ago. It was December we did that. Yeah, so last month. And we raised yeah. £3,000 uh, for, for a, a, a really good, uh, for a care home up there. So it was really good. Fantastic. So you'll have to check that out. And you'll have to subscribe to Red All Over the Land, which is a great fanzine. Yeah. I definitely need to. 
Yeah. Oh well, I'm glad I've done an. I'm glad I've narrated an audio book for a fellow Liverpool fan, and I didn't know <laughs> that. And I'm glad you choosing me. That wasn't what what swayed it, because actually there was one. Oh, I was actually two series of books, two series of six audio books, and the author was in Canada. And she's okay. a Liverpool fan, and she chose me because I tweeted something about uh, a few seasons ago. A few seasons ago, it's probably about six or seven seasons ago when we played Dortmund at Anfield uh, in the. What? Was it the quarterfinal or the semi-final of the UEFA Cup? Anyway, and I mentioned how I was on the cop when Lovren nodded that winner home, and uh, okay. I tweeted it, and she, that's why she booked me as her narrator. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool yeah. always brings people together. It does. It really does. Okay, so the book is called The Sprint, A Day-to-Day -day yes. Feel of Life on a Scrum Team by Julian yeah. Cambridge. What is a scrum team? So a scrum team is part of an agile way of working. So if you've ever worked in software development, um, being the key figures of software development, the business says we want to build uh, this bit of software, um, developers will come in and say, well, this is how we're going to build it. Then you might have software testers that will say, this is how we're going to test it. And then once all that work is done, it then goes live. Now, Scrum is all about a way of working during that cycle. So um, a Scrum team is an agile framework, if you like, which is very popular and used all across the world uh, where software development teams take place. Right. And how many people are in a Scrum team? Um, anything between three and nine. Okay. And what's the key to it? Because when I did the book, it seemed that everybody has their own role and they have yeah. goals within that role. And then they come together for pretty intensive meetings regularly to see how each are going and they hold each other to account. Is that a fair way of explaining it? Definitely. The thing about um, Agile and Scrum, why it was introduced, is because there were so much um, live projects uh, going live with uh, a, a large number of defects, a large number of things that do not work, or projects were coming in over budget or over time. Let's say we have one year to, do, to deliver this project. Uh, we've got a budget of X amount, hundred thousands, but then by the time the project comes in, it's late and it's over budget. And we were wondering why, well, not we, but the sort of the IT software development world was wondering why. And they realized how much um, communication was missing, how much the concept of everyone being on the same page at any given time was missing. So Scrum allows for very fluent uh, bi-directional communication, going back and forth, um, being able to discuss work and being able to be hands-on with the customer involvement. And that's very much what Scrum does. Now, on a IT software development project, you've got many um, job roles. You've got software testers, you've got software developers, you've got UX designers, um, you've got anyone that sort of contributes to the building of the software. But what makes Scrum different is that you have a product owner who owns the to-do list, who owns the product backlog, and you have a Scrum master to make sure everyone in the Scrum team is doing as they should. Right, okay. So it sounds like a really fulfilling way to work because you you it's not like you like your boss says i want here's a project get on with it and here's the deadline for it and then disappears that's how it used to be that's how it right used to and be. that's where the problem started was it absolutely yeah. so there was a method um or still is a method called waterfall and waterfall is also a way of working but it's very much once you've done one part of your project, it's very unlikely you will go back and it's got very little customer involvement. So the customer will say on this day in January, this is what I would like to do. Um, we would like it done by January of next year. And between now and then, a project team will just be left to get on with it and continue with that work. Now, that's not always the worst thing in the world, but if it, we then get to next January and then people start changing their minds, the market isn't the same, um, the customer, what the customer thought they want is not exactly what they got delivered. So Scrum and Agile allow for regular checkpoints with uh, fully customer involvement throughout the whole journey. And how did you get involved in this line of work and 
as to follow up to that with working this way? Well, I am a very agile person in nature. I am not a routinal person in regards to this is how I do it. This is what I do and nothing changes. So agile is also, is also about change management, being able to change on the go. If um, you've decided that you are going to execute something today, um, but then whatever circumstances happen on the weekend, that then changes the way you have to do things. I'm very easy. Or if a pandemic breaks out. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And most definitely because one day you're going into work and then the next day you're being told to work from home. The next day you're being told that uh, to go to a gym, you can only go in uh, at certain hours at certain times. So that's a change that you have to adapt to. And organizations that take on an agile approach are able to adapt to change much easier than companies that don't. So how I got into it, I studied computer science at university. So I then went on to work in an IT software development sort of industry. And um, from probably about 2012, I got into the role of software testing and I was able to experience the different ways of working. And I very much uh, was comfortable in the agile way because it involved a lot of communication and it involved a lot of adapting to change, which is very much who I am as a person. So agile is not a process, it's more of a, not do agile, but be agile. So with my experience, there's many courses out there that teach people how to apply the Scrum philosophy or the scrum framework but you rarely get to hear from a, a a point of view from someone that's actually been on a scrum team and tells you that day-to-day -day experience so it's a like a bird's eye view if you like and coming from a, a narration of someone that's actually been there they're talking you through well this is monday this is what Monday looks like. This is what Tuesday looks like. This is what the two weeks of a scrum team look like in a typical organization applying scrum throughout the whole uh, floor. So who is the book for? It's for anyone that's been on a scrum team who hasn't really been able to see what their experience is like being on the inside. Mm -hmm. um, think about it as a sort of like a, a tribunal or a um, a respect to the industry in regards to people that have worked in it or people that are working in it, but cannot really be able to tell how they look from the outside. And also people that have never worked in Scrum before and want an idea of, well, what is it actually looking like? Because if I was to read this book, as someone that's been on Scrum teams and worked in Agile, if I was to read this book, I'd just be sort of chuckling to myself because, oh gosh, yes, of course that happens. Yes, of course this happens <laughs> on such a day. And it's someone just giving you a, narrate, a narration. It's like when a, a comedian tells a joke of something that happens in your home every day and you're hearing it from someone else and yeah. you start to chuckle. Um, but also for people that have never worked in Scrum, people that have never worked in Agile and are wondering what is it really like as a Scrum uh, uh, on a Scrum team, you go to a, a Scrum course and they'll teach you um, the different variations of how to apply Scrum, but they don't tell you the characters, the characteristics, the people that you work with every day, uh, the things that happen, people turning up late for meetings, nowhere to sit, uh, someone who regularly sits on that chair now has to stand up. You cannot find a meeting room or you've logged on to Zoom too late. You've logged on to Teams. You can't share your screen properly. All of these things are the day-to-day -day things that happen that you might not um, have known prior to working on the Scrum team. It sounds, or what, from, from narrating the book, it sounds like, although it's quite intense and everybody's focused on this goal for the client or whoever has, has whoever's project it ultimately is but it does sound like the kind of fun people have on a sports team it felt <laughs> like that to me reading it is would that be fair i think the way i wrote it tried to be as entertaining as yeah well possible. when i talk about you know when people are on a sports team and they give each other a hard time and then things there's ups and downs and that that kind of vibe is how it felt 
Now, the workplace comes with its comes with its issues at times. It comes with its great times. It comes with its problems. Now, the word scrum is actually taken from the term scrummage in rugby. Yeah, in so rugby, if you think of yeah. the term scrummage, the coming together, the huddle, if you like. Mm -hmm. And that's where the, the word scrum has come from. So a scrum uh, project, if you like, is one big huddle of software testers, software developers, the customer, everyone involved in making the product what it is. Um, but of course, it's never that easy. You have people of different intelligence, people of different cultures, people of different seniority, and they all come together to make this project. It is what it is. Um, now you think of a sports team, you've got uh, senior players who are on the board of retirement. You've got the academy player that's just come in. You've got the manager who's just come in because the old manager has left. It's the same in the workplace. You're going to have a project over a year, a year and a half. Um, and you'll have someone new join the team. Someone who's been there for five years has just left. So all of these things is what you're dealing with on the day to day. So the sprint, a day to day feel of life on the scrum team is designed to give you an insight from a point of view, what life on the scrum team is like. Yeah, it is a very entertaining book. It really is. It's more than just a business book. It's uh, it's good fun as well. Yeah. How did you find the process of turning the book into an audio book? Um, it was interesting. I, I did the ebook about a year ago now, uh, probably about 10 months ago. And I'm a fond listener of Spotify. Everything I listen to is on Spotify. And I was listening to the book Rich Dad Poor Dad on Spotify. And it's one of my favorite books of all time by Robert Kiyosaki. And I thought to myself, well, I'd like to listen to my book on Spotify. <laughs> Um, or any other sort of streaming platform. And then that's when I was able to then research into Audible and, and, and go in that direction. And then, of course, came across yourself. Um, and the process was fun. We actually had uh, people that would submit their sort of audio um, for the book. Of course, you were one of them, and I saw the work that you did. And I thought, well, Graham looks like a, a perfect match to, uh, to read this material. And uh, here we are today. Yeah, here it is. It's on Spotify, isn't it? It is. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a great book. It's called The Sprint, A Day-to-Day -day Feel of Life on a Scrum Team by Julian Cambridge. What's next for you then? Will there be a sequel? Um, I, I don't think there'll be a sequel to this book exactly. Um, I've always been, I mean, English is not the only language spoken uh, worldwide. Um, I've always been interested in having my ebook and audio book in perhaps Spanish, Italian, French, the other sort of huge languages around the world. Um, I may dip into the authoring of a book um, at another stage, but uh, I also deliver agile training. So I deliver right. agile training to organizations and the sprint is a great sort of manual that goes hand in hand with my agile training. Um, I've also got an app on the App Store called Foundations of Scrum Agile. So as a package, they all go together. I'm an Agile trainer. I have an app that shows my training delivery. And I also have a book that acts as sort of a manual or point of view from life on the Scrum team. Great. If someone wants to get more information about you, Julian, where have they got to go? Um, I'm on LinkedIn. So Julian mm -hmm. Cambridge on LinkedIn, um, and it's got all my profile, where I've worked, what I'm currently doing now, and also my company, Golden Agile Solutions, um, which is all about... Golden me. Agile Solutions, okay. There you go, which is all about me delivering agile training to organizations that want to implement Scrum. Great, and you, you live in, uh, in Hartford, in Hertfordshire, and do you work out of London? Um, I work in London mostly, um, yes. Of course, I work hybrid and remote. And when it does come to agile training, I've gone as, you know, far as the Middle East to deliver training. Wow. So, wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, if someone wants more information, the name of that company they need to Google again? Golden Agile Solutions. Golden Agile Solutions. That's correct. And I'm Julian Cambridge, where you can find me on LinkedIn as well. 
Great. And the book is called The Sprint, A Day-to-Day -day Feel of Life on a Scrum Team. It's on Audible. It's on Amazon. You'll find it on iTunes. You'll find it on Spotify. And in fact, I'll put the link to the Amazon version in the, if you're watching this on YouTube, in the description, there's a link where you can go to Amazon and you can download the audiobook and the ebook as well, if you want, uh, from Amazon. It's all there. Uh, Julian Cambridge, thank you very much. And yourself. Thank you, Graham.